Hello, we're going to start in two minutes. Okay, teacher, okay. Okay, everyone. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening, people. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Now we're going to start with today's class. Okay, we're gonna start with today's class. And let me put here right now, the attendance. So please turn on your cameras. Encendamos las camaritas, por favor. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Alba Dinora. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alfredo Alexander Roda Rodríguez. Present mm -hmm. teacher. Y solo esto se le pone, se le pone reintegro. Permítame. Negro Cajachica. Carla Maritza, ya la escuché. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Carlos Gualberto. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present, teacher. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Ventura. Karina Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Vanegas Lemos. 
Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. Present. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Maideli Judith Díaz Rivera. Present. Thank you. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Present. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Present. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Present. Walter Daniel González Pérez. William Eduardo Pérez García. Okay. Do you have any questions right now about yesterday's class? Antes que comencemos. ¿Alguna pregunta? Ah, les, no les pude poner la pregunta en, en la plataforma porque no tenía acceso a internet todo el día, solo a redes. Entonces, no, no me sirvió. El Pero díganme ustedes, ¿tienen preguntas? ¿No? Ok, so if there are no questions. Let's continue here. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Este, ayer no alcancé a copiar. ¿En qué ocasiones se utilizan las oraciones imperativas? Solamente eh, logré entender que se utiliza para dar órdenes y sugerencias. ¿En qué otras ocasiones lo vamos a utilizar? Lo vamos a utilizar, perdón. Lo vamos a utilizar para dar instrucciones. Right, definitivamente. ¿Que ¿En qué otra ocasión lo vamos a utilizar, Domingo? Dígame otro ejemplo en el cual vayamos a utilizar imperatives. ¿En which other time? Exhortativos. Para exhortar. Para exhortar. También para... ¿Cómo así para exhortar? No lo entendí, perdón. Con, er, o con oraciones exclamativas, le entiendo. Ah, exclamativo, uh -huh. ok. Very good. Yes, para oraciones exclamativas. That is correct. What's yes. another, another way? Eh, yes. Para corregir. Para? Corregir. No. No, para corregir no. So, pensaría uno que sí, pero no. No. ¿Para qué más? Advertencias. Warnings. Very Warning. good. Warnings. That is correct. Okay. Warnings. What's another one, Matías? De cortesía okay. también, teacher dijo. Mm, cortesía no es un uso. Para ser sino... cortés. No. Para... Utilizamos please para ser cortés. Ah. Uh -huh. Utiliza... Para que no se oiga muy así como que open your book. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cuando está llamando la atención también. Exacto. Command. Para llamar la atención, para un command. command. Como, para, como para pedir un favor, digamos, también. Direction. Usualmente no serían favores, fíjese. Ajá. Sí, sino que son como que haga esto, por favor. Ah, okay. Lo hace o lo hace. O lo por hace o lo despide. O lo despide, exacto. Por eso Sería para es, dar órdenes. Para dar órdenes, instrucciones. Se dice dijo, instrucciones. dijo que eran para comandos, instrucciones, direcciones, warning, warning y avisos. Avisos. Direcciones, avisos. warning, exactly, very good. Very good, Domingo. Y consejo. And advice, wonderful, Marilyn. And advice. Muy bien. Uh, one example. ¿Eh? ¿Qué dijo? No, 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 nada. Hablen duro, no. sin miedo. El que no nada se ahoga. Para regañar también. Para regañar. Speak loud. <risa> para llamar la atención. Sí, speak loud. No, es para dar instrucciones. No, no se utilizan para llamar la atención. En parte sí, ticha, aunque si alguien anda parado ahí y usted quiere que se siente y no le escucha, Usted debe llegar un momento en que se va a enojar y lo va a sit down. O, o sit no. down o sit down. Sit down es una instrucción. Sit down. 
Que se lo diga con el tono de que ya me enojé, es diferente. <risa> aunque, aunque mi tono siempre es enojado, así que toda la vida piensen que estoy enojado. Así que no solo sé. cuando, solo con, <risa> con Matías. <risa> <risa> Solo con Matías usaría ese tono. Porque sí, él es el Matías. Yo sé que, que se enojen. ¿eh? Que se siente, es decir, que se siente. Sit down, please. Yeah, that would be one. Correct. Now, well, if you don't have more questions, right, we're going to continue here, right, with the next class. Como les decía, este, te este, este tema. Esta semana lleva bastantes temas gramaticales. Entonces, hay que hacer preguntas porque ese día vamos a ver otro tema gramatical. Right? Totalmente distinto a lo que hicimos ayer. Right? Okay. We have... This is, can you see my teacher, computer? Pregunta, teacher. ¿Verdad mm -hmm. que estos, estos eh, imperativos, estos todos, 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 Van a ser prácticamente, ¿verdad? Este, en tiempo simple present, ¿verdad? No hay en, en futuro o pasado. No, solo en simple present. Ok. Uh -huh. Solo en simple present. Okay. That's a good, good reminder. Muy buen recordatorio. Solo en simple present. Ok, now, we have here, right? We continue here with unit number two, ongoing activities, activities at the workplace. Video conference number eight, how to use have to and need to, okay? How to use have to and need to. So let's talk, right? What are three things you do in your workplace? Silvia, what are three things you do in your workplace? What are some three things you do in your workplace? What are three things you do in your workplace? Me está preguntando a mí una auto No, it's for you. Okay. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> what are three things you do in your workplace? Well, I pay bills, send messages on emails. Okay. Um, I meeting with uh, truck drivers. Okay, very good. Now, what about you, uh, Carla? What are three things you do in your workplace? I have to check reports. I have to send emails mm -hmm. and I have to attend assist or attend client. Assist. Assist, assist client. Yeah. Assist clients, very good. What are three things you do not do in your workplace? Uh, Walter Daniel, three things that you do not do. Walter Daniel González. Hello, teacher. Sí, Pero que no se no se hagan en el trabajo, dijo. Yes, three things that you do not do in your workplace. O me voy conectando, realmente no entendí, no sé lo que están haciendo. Estamos empezando, esta es la primera pregunta, sí. así que no se preocupe. Era... What are three things or three activities that you do not do in your workplace? For example, in my workplace, I am a teacher, so I do not sell products. I do not sell products. I don't sell products. I don't call clients. Right? I don't make sales reports. No, eso. Right? I don't. So, Walter, what are the uh, activities I don't, that you do not do? 
I don't. I don't know check, ¿cómo se dice present? El, no reviso los ausentismos. I do not check the attendance. I do not. I do not. I do I not check the attendance. The attendance. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. Another one. ¿Cómo se dice? Um, How do you say? I do, I do, I do not. Los permisos personales no los doy yo. I do not, pero no sé cómo se dice permisos personales. I do not give permissions to employees. I do not give permissions to employees. I do not. Me escuchan, give. chicos. Yes, teacher. Yes. I do not give permissions to employees. I do not give permissions to, to employees. employees. We employees. To employees. To employees. Very good. What about you, Marilyn? Three things that you do not do. I don't hit at work. I don't watch television. I don't play video, video games. Very good, Marilyn, very good. So those are examples that, of things that we do not do in the workplace, right? Let's continue, seguimos, right? Look at this exercise here, it says, Read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Ya hemos hecho este tipo de ejercicio de corrección, right? So, this is on page 24. Esta está en la página 24. Page 24 of your book. What are you going to do? You're going to check the mistakes, right? Vamos a verificar si hay errores, si no hay, qué está pasando. Right? So let's go ahead and check this. This is going to be individual work. Este ejercicio es individual. Right? We're going to see solo, if... Solo subrayo los errores. Yeah. Find out the errors. Identify the errors. Okay. Se, si lo encuentra, trate de corregirlo. Okay? Of course. Si sabe que está malo, es porque sabe la respuesta correcta. Right? So, ¿todos están en la página 24? Page 24. Yes. Okay, very good. Do we have mistakes? Hay errores? What do you think? Mire, yo he encontrado uno, pero no sé si, si es que yo estoy fraqueando ahí. Eh... No se preocupe. Ya lo vamos a ver, ya lo vamos a ver. Ok. okay. <laughs> yes, in a moment. Teacher, ¿qué es ten? 
Then. Then. Entonces. And you leave. Después. And you lie. Uh, July. Los okay, meses okay. del año. Sí, sí July. Uh -huh. Busy que era, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm always busy. Busy. Ocupado. Pueden ver mi pantalla. Pero el libro. Necesito que vean. Es que creo que mi computadora se está trabando. Yo veo el libro. O sea, la yes, página del libro. Sí, ok. Perfecto. Thank you very much. This is the exercise. Es que creo Yo que lo solo uso una y teacher. Y hay otra que no sé si está bien uh -huh. o no. No, ah. pero necesito que vean, que vean los dos. Por eso es que creo que se me trabó la compu. Pero, ¿qué ven ahorita? ¿Ven como dos cuadros? Dos sí, cuadros. Dos cuadros sí. Ok. Ah, we think that right now we can find the, the difference. Uh -huh. eh, se ve hasta la, como la oración número 7 del segundo cuadro. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Es que creo que solo veía en una página, ¿verdad? Ok. We have... Aquí. Y que lo de abajo también teníamos que hacerlo, dicho. Sí, es que, que, es que sí, es que se trabó la compu. Acá, y pensé que estaban viendo el libro, pero después vi que estaban viendo solo, solo una parte. Now, we have the paragraph, right? In this paragraph, for Mr. John Wilson, right, we have the, to correct the sentences. Pero en la página 22, 24, perdón, nos aparecen seven sentences. We have seven sentences there yes. that we need to correct. For example, it says, his name is John Wilkins. No. So what's his name? John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. Okay, very good. So that's what we need to correct. Esa es la respuesta de la una, entonces. Yes, that's the answer for number one. No le había entendido qué hacer entonces. No, en mi, fue, fue mi computadora. Si ven que estoy explicando algo y no está de acuerdo con la imagen que estoy mostrando, me avisan, por favor. Ahí disculpen esa, esa petición, pero creo que mi computadora me perdí. Es que como solo vimos, solo los dijo que viéramos el cuadro donde estaba, la, donde estaba todo. No, lo... le acabo de decir de que mi computadora se trabó. Por eso es que no veía en la página 24. Right? En la página 24 uh -huh. del libro, que es la, uh -huh. la ven en estos momentos, tenemos un párrafo, pero abajo hay siete oraciones. Right? Entonces, con base en el párrafo, vamos a corregir las oraciones. Entonces, read ah, okay. about Mr. Wilson, right? okay. and we're going to correct the sentences. So, this, it says, his name is John Wilkins. Mm -mm. His name is John Wilson. John Wilson. Mm -hmm. Exactly. O sea, nosotros, nosotros vamos a escribir en la parte de abajo la oración correcta. Sí, tiene error, sí. Y en, el, en la línea chiquitirringa. No, esa línea está de más. Ah. Solo corrijan o digan si está buena o mal. Muchos thank you. Thank you, Silvia. Or Flor, I'm sorry. <ríe> está hablando a mí misma, ¿verdad? Mi misma. Y le dije a mí mismo, tómate vitamina. <risa> mí mismo, tómate. Yeah, I'm not too. You're quite square. You need to run out of four cups. You need to cut the players to cut you. But 
Let me know when you finish. No. Teacher, hay una parte que dice not so often. Mm. What is the meaning of often? Sí, sí, pero, pero. What is the meaning of often? Not so often. Frecuente. Frecuente, ok, a menudo. Not so often, no tan a menudo, no tan frecuente. So es tan. En este mm. caso sí. Ok. Excellent. What about the others? Two more minutes, dos minutos más, y ven, empezamos a ver las respuestas. Very good. One minute, un minuto. Finish. Okay, let's go ahead and check the answers. Let's check the answers here, right? So we know the first one is, his name is John Wickens, 
right? Let me write it here. His name is John Wilson. Now, let's see here, number two. He writes report every day. He writes report every day. Is that correct, uh, Alberto? No, no uh, he check email every day. No, okay, very good. No, he checks emails every day. Very good. So we have there an answer for number two. Number three, right, Alfredo. He never answers the phone and talk to customers. No, he always answers the phone. He and always answers the phone. And talks to the talk, talk, uh -huh, talk talk to? to the potential employees. To the potential employees. Okay, very well. Next one, Silvia. He often. Uh, it's number four, right? Yeah, he often attends meetings in the mornings. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, he often attends meetings in the morning. In the morning. Okay, so just it is correct. Okay, very good. Just now, thank you. You're welcome. Number five, Matias. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Matias, do you have the answer? He never attend meeting in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, not, not so often, so often meeting in the afternoon. So often. Okay. Attend, attend, meeting in the afternoon, okay. Okay, so if it says not so often, no tan a menudo, so no often. tanto, not right? Not How would you? Is it generally? No, generally. Generally? Generally, no. it's attend me more. But it says, confundi, no. me confundi yo. But listen to me, please. Yes, it says generally, I attend mm. meetings in the morning. That's why Silvia says he often attends meetings in the morning, right? Generally. Now it says, and not so often in the afternoon. Not so often, no tan a menudo. So, but no, it's, no. it's not saying never, no dice que nunca, sino que no tan a menudo. Que no, otro adverb of frequency? What? Not rarely. Rarely, rarely. very good. He rarely. Entonces la puse bien o no? Attend. Oh, no, no la puse bien. He rarely attends meetings in the afternoon. Mm. Right? Mm. Yes. Now, number six, Marlon. Okay. Uh, he usually has events in his company. Mm -hmm. No, he always has events. He always has events. Very good. And Marilyn, number seven, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Uh, no, they have to attend a conference. Um, quiero ver. 21. Espérame, teacher. Espérame, teacher. Repita su respuesta, por favor. No, they have 
to attend a conference, Julie. On July 21. On July 21st. Repeat, July 21st. July 21st. July 21st, very good, very good. Now we have these possible answers here, right? Now let's continue, continuemos acá, right? With the next exercise. Okay, let me show you here my computer so we can continue with the next, right? This is very similar, right? And you're going to do it, right? With your classmates. Now you're going to work with them, but it's... Give me a moment. No, we're going to do that activity later. Okay, vamos a hacer esa actividad después, okay? Now vamos a mover. I'm going to explain something to you right now, right, because of the time. And we're going to look at this conversation, okay? Look at this, very short. Es una conversación super chiquitita. Very, very short conversation. It's on page 25. And it says, Mark, I really need a memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away, right? So what we're going to do here is when we, for example, have the word need, right? It's because it's something that is urgent, right? Something that is a necessity, right? Cuando tenemos una urgencia, una necesidad. It's very important. I really need, right? I need to speak to, I need to speak to the manager. I need to speak to your mom, right? It's very important. So we have this, right? Let's see, just for this small conversation, I would like to listen to Cristina and I would like to listen to Domingo. Cristina, you are Brie. Domingo, you are Mark. I really need that memo bill. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Right away. Right away. Okay. Repeat with me, Domingo. I really need that memo. 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 Very good. So we're going to talk about need and have to. Please pay attention. Right, pon atención por favor. Right. Stop doing whatever you're doing and pay attention. We're going to practice start with need, right? The use of need. We use need. Right, to say that something is necessary, right? Let me show you here. To say that something is necessary or unnecessary. You can use these forms for habitual, general, and specific necessity. For example, you usually need to check in at least two hours before a flight leaves. I don't need to take a raincoat. It's going to be hot today, right? Now, for example, I can say, I need to drink water during the class, right? I don't need to eat in the class. It's not a necessity, right? We can say also, I need to pay my internet every month. That's a necessity, right? I don't need to play video games. That is not a necessity, right? That's not a necessity for me. 
right? It will depend on, on the person who is speaking, right? Because everyone has different necessities. Now, when we want to say that something is unnecessary on a specific occasion, we can also use needn't plus infinitive without to. Look at this. You needn't lock the car. You don't need to lock the car. It's the same, right? Nobody will steal it. It's in this village. We use don't need, not needn't for habitual or necessities. I don't need to wear glasses. My eyesight is still good, right? Si estamos en una, una ocasión especial, right? For example, el ejemplo de aquí, de aquí es un ejemplo. Van a un pueblito de esos pueblitos que son seguros, que no existen, right? You go there and then you park your car. Right? It says, ah, you need to lock the car, right? You needn't lock the car, but that is for a very specific situation, right? And that situation is at that moment of speaking, right? Es para el momento en el cual están hablando. So, usualmente se utiliza para expresar algo cuando estamos hablando, right? That's when we need to use needn't, right? And we're going to use don't need to, o oh, el mismo significado es el mismo, pero se utiliza para ocasiones que son necesarias o innecesarias, right? I need to, I need to drink my pills, right? I need to drink my pills. Necesito tomar mi medicina, right? I need to drink my pills. I don't need to eat more, right? No necesito comer más, ya, ya basta. Right? So we are going to use need to for necessities. Let's take a look at the other examples. Right? Tienen preguntas antes de seguir? No hay diferencia en el uso. Uh, eh, he, she, we. Only the yes. O sea, para, she needs. Para, para los. Ajá. ¿Hm? Uh -huh. For necessities. O sea, no, no hay diferencia. Siempre se usa igual. No. Me, me, si me hay... dice por el needn. Uh -huh. Por need. Ah, oh, for needn. Need no. For needn, there's persona. no difference. No. Entonces, for needn, pero... there's no difference. But for this one, yes. She doesn't need to take a wrinkle. She doesn't. He doesn't. Right? For needn, no. Right? But in this case, what happens here? is that you are talking directly to another person. En este utilizamos needn't porque usted está hablando directamente con otra persona, right? Entonces, cuando queremos decirle algo a alguien que es innecesario en una ocasión específica. Entonces, acá no hay necesidad de utilizar she or he porque usted está manteniendo una conversación con alguien más, right? So, that's why you use needn't. Right. Y la, la, la utilizar eh, she or he no estaría on the table. Right? No, Only porque me. ella está chambeando, pero no, no, no. Exactly, exactly. Right? Now, okay. we continue. We have here this. Well, let's go ahead and do something. Right? Let's take a look at the examples. Veamos los ejemplos antes que sigamos con el siguiente ejercicio. Let's make Teacher. one example with need for a necessity, right? Something that you need. For example, I will write here my example in the chat. I need to pay my bills at the end of the month. Teacher. Yo creo que se le trabó la compu. Porque no veo que ha hecho nada. No, it no is hay... in the chat. Is it is in the chat. Ah. I need to pay my bills at the end of the month. ¿Lo miran en el chat? Gracias, yes. Matías. Yes. Yes, yes. So, that is an example with a necessity. I need to pay my bills at the end of the month. 
right? Something that I don't need. Siempre como necesidad. I don't need to buy. Let me see. Oh, I don't need to buy vegetables. I don't need to buy vegetables. Tengo un montón. Right? I don't need to buy. It's not a necessity in this moment. Right? Teacher. So, yes, Nancy? Una pregunta. Siempre vamos a utilizar el do. If it's Para I, you, we, and they. If it's I, you, we, and they, yes. If it's he, she, it, you just doesn't. Si es I, you, we, they, sí. Si utiliza he, she, it, utiliza doesn't. Ok. Mm. Y, y un Teacher, ejemplo me con, me con otro, perdón, eh, otra, otro ejemplo, pero que no sea usando el sujeto I, eh, me o yo. Ya se lo puede dar, o sea, pero necesito que escriban I... uno de ustedes ahorita. ¿Ah? Necesito que escriban uno como los que yo acabo de escribir. Me para eso. irnos moviendo. <ríe> ¿Mm? Yo he escrito dos ejemplos. Hay uno en positivo y una en necesidad y una cosa que no es necesidad. Right? Y luego nos movemos al third person singular. Ok, Marlon says, I need to take a rest. Ok, I need to take money to pay my bills. Very good. Ah, to pay. Okay. ¿Cómo se escribe agua? Water. W-A-T-E-R. Uh -huh. I need to breathe to live. <laughs> Yes, that is correct. Marlo, la letra mayúscula I, siempre. Siempre, siempre, siempre. Water. W-A-T-E-R. W-A? T-E-R. Okay. In Spanish? <laughs> como digo ropa clothing a t e r c l o t h i n g clothing usted ya pueden deletrear ya pasamos a eso no lo puede deletrear como como el primer día mm -mm. clothing i need time off for my training classes I need to have glasses or I need to wear glasses. Ahí le falta el verbo, Cristina. I need to. I need to. I need to. Estamos, miren mis ejemplos, Nancy. I need to. I don't need to eat sweet bread with coffee every day. I need to have cable in the house. Okay, para los partidos, okay. I need to take a shower after work. After work. After the work? No. Uh, Victor, after work. Cristina, I need to wear glasses. Wear. Usar. Let's see other examples. I need time off for my driving classes. I need to drink water. Mayúscula I, por favor. Cuando decimos I, mayúscula. I don't need to spend so much money in a smartphone. In a smartphone. I need new clothes. No. Need to. Estamos viendo need to. I don't need to put sugar in my coffee. I need to take a shower after work. I don't need sugar in my coffee. I don't need to put sugar in my coffee, Silvia. Need to. No, no están siguiendo las instrucciones. Need to. I don't, need, I don't need to sleep. Dice usted, I need new work. I don't need sugar in my coffee. I need to new work. No. I need to get a new work, a new job. Work es trabajar. Job es trabajo. Job. I need to get a new job. 
No, Domingo no está siguiendo las instrucciones. Carlos tampoco. Y no sé el ejemplo, pues. Ah. No. Te apuesto mi sueldo que no es eso. Me ¿Ah? apuesto mi sueldo que no es así el ejemplo. I don't need to vacations. El verbo le falta. No, Nancy. Le falta el verbo, Nancy. Y aquí se lo puse el ejemplo. Y ahí él le puso su ejemplo, Nancy. I don't need to buy a new phone. Very good, Victor. Okay. Veamos. Let's pay attention. Can you see white? Can you see the screen where it says need to? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, when we have need to, pay attention, please. Pon atención. Pay attention. Stop doing whatever you're doing. Pon atención. Right? When we have need to, we're going to have the subject, right? Plus need in positive to plus a verb plus the complement. Ah, uh, tú me <laughs> Mira el ejemplo. Por eso le escribo ejemplo. Right? Now we have this here, right? And what are we going to do? Domingo, right, needs to pay attention. Right? That's a necessity. Right? Domingo needs to pay attention. So we have there <laughs> third person singular, right? He needs plus two plus the verb plus the complement. Right? No. <laughs> so we have the example no, there. No, es que se está no. durmiendo, me está durmiendo. Hasta está haciendo así los ojos, ya está durmiendo. Right? So we have there one example. Right? Then we're going to make an example with a negative form. We grab the same formula, right? And we're going to put here subject plus do. Right? We're going to make a contract. Vamos a hacerlo contractado bien solo. Don't or doesn't. Okay. Doesn't need to plus verb plus complement. Right? Vaya, eso es lo que le preguntaba en Joy Teacher. Pay attention. Now, we're going to put here, right, a Maricela. Doesn't need to buy new clothes, right? Maricela doesn't need to buy new clothes. So what do we have, right? Doesn't need to, right? If it's I, like the examples, I don't need to buy new clothes right. I don't need to buy new clothes so we make it with either doesn't or don't right now do we understand here the example we can use any subject yes. right any subject ahora miren sus ejempl los ejemplos que acaban de escribir están bien los ejemplos que acaban de escribir no. Okay. Let's do it again. Solo el verbo le falta. A ustedes solo le decía falta to. Solo la preposition. Teacher, y esa última que puse estará bien. I need to buy jeans, dice Walter. I don't need to. Marilyn Elizabeth. Le faltan los verbos. Let's see. I don't need to go to work tomorrow. Okay, very good. 
I need to speak English. I need to speak French or Italian. I don't need to have any more shoes. Very good, Maideli. I don't need to have any more shoes. Le faltan los verbos, Maideli. I don't need to go to the moon yet. Todavía no, pero un día sí. Right. So, do we understand the use of need to? Entendemos en qué momento I don't need to, el verbo, what is the verb? I don't need to. Tomar? Don't. Don't. No, el verbo, no el auxiliar. El verbo. A él le, ahorita le falta el verbo. I don't need to. To teach. To teach medicine. No, ese de, es de, de, de domingo. ¿Cuál sería, ¿Cuál sería el verbo, domingo? Díganlo, díganos en español, le vamos a ayudar. Drink, buy. Tomar. Drink, okay. Drink, or take. Puedes usar to, to drink. drink or mm. take. Drink <laughs> or take. Lo voy a escribir aquí. I don't. Okay. I need to see the windows. I need to buy a new computer. Okay, very good. Sí, está bien. I need to study with my computer. I don't need to study with my cell phone. Very good, Madeline. I don't need to eat more. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, now, we have this. Tienen preguntas acerca del need to. I need to... Carlos o Alberto, ¿dónde está el verbo? Need to what? Se me olvidó, teacher. Sería buy. Ok, escríbalo. I need to buy. And you say, mm -hmm. I don't need to diet. Ok, I don't need to diet. Very good. I need to diet. Marilyn, le hacían falta sus verbos. Ahí está, teacher, estudiar, study. I need to okay. study with my computer. I don't need yes. to study with my phone. Okay. Sandra, you have there, I don't need to new vacations. I don't need to what? Después de to, En este tipo de oraciones, vamos a tener, después de la palabra to, debemos escribir un verbo. Okay? Si no lo escriben, está mal hecho. I need to study English. Very good. You need to study need to. Right? Now, we're going to continue here. Seguimos. Yes. yes? Pero usted dice que siempre de tú, siempre tiene que ir un verbo. Yes. Ok. Siempre, siempre. En ese tipo de oraciones que estamos viendo en estos momentos, anótelo. En ese tipo de oraciones con nicho debemos sí. utilizar un, un verbo, verbo después de la preposición to. Ok, vale. Pero usted dijo, ahorita acaba de escribir William, I don't need to diet. 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 Dijo que estaba mm. bien. Yes, it's correct. Diet. diet es verbo. Diet is a verb. I don't need to diet. Diet is a verb. Mm -hmm. It is correct. Teacher, and, and see, ¿qué significado tiene need to? Need to, the meaning that has need to, uh, Matias, is to express necessities or things that are not a necessity. Right? Necesito. Cosas necesarias o no necesarias. Mira lo que dice Silvia, I don't need to buy a new laptop. Right? Mm -hmm. Domingo says, I need to drink coffee. Okay. I need yes. to drink coffee. Right? 
He says here, I need to see you. Ya me está viendo para allá. Right? I need to buy a new phone. Necessities. Uh -huh. Necessities. Okay, let's go ahead, right, and read this email that we have, right, for Guadalupe, right? We have an email here on page 25, in la página 25, right? On page 25 of, your, of our book, right, it says here, pair work. We're going to work in pairs. Read the email and organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance, okay? So, in this case, you are going to read with someone else and you are going to decide which is first, right? So we have the email that is from Daniel Ruiz. It says, Dear Guadalupe, there are some of the tasks for this month, right? We have different tasks in this email and you are going to organize the task in one, two, three, and four, right? No entendí. ¿Qué parte no entendió, Matías? Todo, oh, teacher. ¿De, de qué parte no entendió? O sea, el cuadro. ¿Cuál cuadro? First one? Guadalupe. Yes, you are going to read the email. This is an email. Okay? No lo vamos a leer ahorita, usted lo va a leer. Ah, claro. No, no lo ha leído. Y yo dije, no, ¿dónde va? Dije, not. ¿dónde va? Buscándolo. Of okay. course, pay, ponga atención, pay attention. Pay sí, sí, attention. Sí, sí, sí. Estaba Now, leyendo lo mismo. Pay attention. You're going to work in pairs. It's pair work, right? Pair work. You're going to read the email, right? That Daniel Ruiz sent to Guadalupe, right? You are going to read here all the activities. You're going to put the activities in order, but you are going to think, or you're going to organize the activities. Which one is first for you? Which one is first for you? Which one is second? We have four activities that you are going to organize. This is usually what the assistants do. Right? All the assistants do this. They organize the activities that they are going to do during the week. Right? If you have an assistant, ustedes tienen un asistente, right? They must organize all the activities. Which is more important? Which is like so-so, mm, right? And which is, ah, I can do this on Friday. It's not important. All right, so you're going to read carefully and then you're going to put them in order, okay? Order of importance. Lo van a poner en orden de importancia. ¿Cuál debe hacer primero? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que Guadalupe debe hacer en el número dos? ¿Cuál creen que Guadalupe debe hacer después? ¿Y cuál creen que debe dejar de último? Right? Él se las explica ahí y ese no es el orden que debería llevar. Right? Now, this is on your book. No necesitan tomar el screenshot porque está en su libro en la paginita 25, page 25, ¿ok? Vamos a leer el, el email, lo leemos con el compañero que nos corresponde, vemos cuáles son las actividades más importantes y las menos importantes y luego las colocamos en orden acá, ¿ok? Let's do it. Let's go. The ones. Bueno, creo que hoy todos podemos trabajar. No hemos tenido quejas. Vámonos ya. Todos tenemos internet. Entonces, vámonos. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're working in pairs. Vamos en parejas. Vamos en parejas. Vamos. Luis Enrique, Víctor, Walter, Cristina, William.
Cristina, vaya con su pareja, por favor. Hi, Cristina. Hi, Santos. Hi. Y esa Cristina que ahorita me aparecía ya en la, en la main session. Sí. Allá, allá me aparece. Solo hermanitos. ¿Ustedes son hermanos? Hoy nos puso, hoy nos puso los hermanitos la par, sí, somos hermanos. Los hermanos que no pueden. <risa> ¿En serio son hermanos? No, no son hermanos. No tienen los mismos apellidos. Sí, es. Son hermanos. Ella es mi, es lo que... Lo que pasa es de que ella, ella es nacida en San Salvador. Usted es mentiroso. Pero sí es mi hermana, la fe. Sí, somos hermanas. Es mi hermana. Sí, porque ella, ella se dedica a las clases y usted no. Ay, lo, ¿Sabe por qué, teacher? Le voy a comentar qué? ahorita de modo de chambre. Lo que pasa es de que estoy en una maestría de, de administración financiera. Y de, se, de seis a nueve, a, a, ¿qué decía? a nueve. Entonces, por eso es de que no me, en las cuando tengo esas clases, no me puedo partir en dos, por eso me pongo solo a escucharla y luego veo de... de me ignorada por sus clases de maestría, no creo. Lo que Pero aquí estoy. Aquí estoy siempre. Le Qué pide bien. copia después a Cristina. No, ni me da. Ni me da. Tiene que hacerla él. Si no, no va a aprender. Exacto. Si no, por gusto. Yo le dije, te voy, te voy a inscribir porque si no, no vas a aprender nunca. Excelente. Cabal, escríbalo. Para él y para los que siguen. No se va a quedar. No a ver, se va a quedar. No. <ríe> pues, no sé si tenían alguna ya pregunta. Ya va a terminar. Ya está durmiendo. Ah, estoy tratando de, de leer oh. el, el texto ahorita. Ajá, Ajá. Para Ajá. Va, Me avisan si tienen alguna pregunta. Me llaman y regreso. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hi, William. Hi, Kenny. Do you have any questions? William, Kenny, ¿están acá? William y Kenny. Hola, hola, Miss, que yo ando ahorita fuera de casa. Están fuera de casa. ¿Y William? Tuve que salir ahorita de emergencia. En unos 10 minutos llego. Bueno, entonces la voy a poner de oyente para otro grupo. O bien, ¿pueden quedarse acá entonces? Voy a, voy a... Eh... Quédense acá entonces. Ahí está. William, si puede trabajar, trabaje usted en, en estos momentos. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, William? No le escucho. ¿Cuál es su pregunta, William? William, me escucha. Sálgase y vuelve a entrar. Karina, me escucha.
Karina Yamilet, ¿me escucha? Ok, trabaja entonces y lo veo otro ratito. Lo veo un momento. Me voy, a, me voy a meter a la plataforma porque fíjese que bien raro no me no me abre este ¿Por qué no le abre? el libro ajá porque hasta la página número 20 me abre ah, pero en la okay. plataforma allí allí creo que, que he visto también el libro enviamos ah. el libro al whatsapp no lo descargó de whatsapp Sí, teacher, solo hasta la página 20 me, me logra cargar, fíjese. ¿Se lo voy a reenviar de nuevo? Ok. Teacher, yo estoy confundida. ¿Por qué? Cuénteme. Mire, en la primera, en la primera no tiene fecha. Este, y dice que solo tiene 
para hacer el contacto con tres potenciales eh, clientes, eh, tres, perdón, tres días y tres horas cada día. Uh -huh. Luego, para hablar a los, para hablar a nuevos clientes, tendrá tres semanas y debe enviar la catarina para junio. Y luego dice, salutare. Sí. Dice, es muy importante, eh, it's very important to send the two last results report on 20, eh, 26 May, on May. And write the welcome, para mí ese sería el segundo, pero, pero también es, pero también es importante los clientes. Si no tiene clientes, ¿cómo va a hacer el reporte? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál es el más importante? Los clientes. Okay. Aquí va a depender de cada grupo. Pero ya nos vamos. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Ay, no. No, ¿por qué no? Teacher, sí, 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 sí. No me ya se lo envía ahí al chat de WhatsApp. Bueno, si no, sí lo voy a responder. ¿Ya lo pudo ver en el chat de WhatsApp? No, ahorita estoy viendo, ahorita estoy revisando. Sí, teacher, ahorita está descargando. Ok, perfecto. Let's go, vámonos. Vamos. Ya estamos de nuevo. Yes, we are. No He estado callado, Matías. Eh, fíjate que cabalito, yo la que pongo segunda tu asistencia. Milagro. Es cabalito, <risa> puse tu foto para ver quién está ahí acostado, dije yo. <risa> Estamos medio descansando. Ah, pues hay que darle. Cuando se puede. Ah, vale. A ver, solo trabajas 15 días al mes, así. ¿Quién no? Solo descansando, viví. Ah, vale. okay. Sí, pero el estudio. El estudio me mata. <laughs> okay, let me call the attendants. Thank you so much, Victor. Gracias. Veamos la, la asistencia. Okay. Cámaras, por favor. Alba Dinora Vides. ¿Sí? Bueno, está Alba. No, teacher. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Carla Maritza. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana. Present. Domingo Alexander. José Matías. Present. Present. Karina. Karina y Emilet. Kenia Elizabeth Vanegas. Luis Enrique Bonilla. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Maideli Díaz. Present. Nancy Lisset. Thank you. Sandra Yamilet. Present. Santos Rigoberto. Present. Silvia del Carmen. 
Víctor David. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Thank you. So, there we are, right? We have, we just read an email, right? About uh, the things that Guadalupe has to do based on priority, right? Based on the importance that she's supposed to do the things. Now, remember that in this case, oh, oh, in this case, ya le tomé la asistencia, ni no se preocupe. Alba tiene enferma su bebé. Ah, oh, por eso. Por eso se me hacía raro, porque siempre está. Okay. Now, each of the answers here is going to be different, right? Because we, things that are important to me might not be important to Domingo. Things that are important to Domingo are not important to Marlon, right? No todos tenemos, pensamos de que algo es importante, right? Yo puedo decir, ah, eso es súper importante para mí. Y Domingo va a decir, no, eso no es importante, right? Y lo que él diga que es importante, Cristina va a decir, mm -mm, that's not important, right? Entonces todos van a tener una lista con las mismas actividades, pero posiblemente en orden distinto, right? Let's go ahead and listen to Silvia. Silvia Flor. What do you oh. have? Read your list. Lea su lista. She needs, um, she needs to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Uh, number two, she needs uh, call the new clients from the last three weeks. Uh, number three, she needs visit to stores and in Santa Tecla. Um, in number four, she needs write and write report sales. Sales. Como se, como digo sales. 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 She sales. needs uh, send reports to sales. Uh, on May and write the welcome letter to the new customers. Okay, very good. That is the list that Sylvia and her group has. Now, what about the others? Do you have the same? Tienen lo mismo que Sylvia? Do you have the same, Walter? Al Alfredo? No. No? No, teacher, no. No, right? You don't have the same. Right? Ellas tenían un gran debate ahí. ¿Qué es importante con Nancy? ¿Qué es? No, esto no es. Si tienes esto, no es esto, right? What is your list about, Alfredo? Uh, en mi grupo lo hicimos por el tiempo que tiene, así que... She needs sense the two last sales report on... My 26, 26. 26, yes. <laughs> Se tiene que oír la T y me cuesta. And they write a new well, welcome letter for the new customers. Mm -hmm. It's the first. And second, she need calls the new client for the last week. And give them the catalog information for you. Okay. Number mm -hmm. the third, this is the two stars in the Santa Tecla. And fourth, she need contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. In the list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, very good. So that is totally different. Escuchan bien? Es totalmente distinta la que tiene Silvia, right? Very different. Who wants to read their list? ¿Quién más quiere leer su lista? No es que esté malas, okay? No es que es distinta, which is different. 
Right? ¿Quién más quiere leer su lista? Vamos. Thank you so much, Sandra y Amilet. ¿Lea su lista? Open the microphone. Thank you. It's very important to send the to last the salary report on my 26. Number two, call the new claim from the last three weeks and given them the catalog information for June. Mm -hmm. Number three, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. Number four, he need to contact the first three potent potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Very good, thank you, Sandra. Yours is very similar to Alfredo, right? Very good, right? Potential, repeat with me, Sandra. Potential. Potential. Potential customers. Potential customer. Very good, thank you so much. Thank you, and Victor, what is your question? Um, yo lo tenía igual que, que ella. Ok, very good. Alfredo, pero, pero si sí, me puse a revisar bien el, el orden de las prioridades, ahí hay una fecha, aunque nos basamos con Carla, donde decía que era very important, uh -huh. había hasta una fecha de, de fin de mes para hacerlo. So you put it at the end, dejaron al final. Okay. Ajá. Okay, very good, you see? Changes. And that is called analyzing. Ya se pusieron analizar, no solamente a leer. Right? Sino que Ajá, igual, la, igual la otra, call the new client. Ah, y dice que na, de las últimas tres semanas. Sería casi a fin de mes también. Pero antes del, del otro que es del 26. So on the, on the fourth week. Uh -huh, en la tercera semana. Okay, very good. Thank you, Victor. You see, right? We are analyzing how to make things important or not, right? Now, ya vimos need to, ya leímos dos, dos, un email y, ¿qué más? Un email, right? Y ya vimos need to. Vamos a ver otro tema. Pay attention. Okay, pay attention. El anterior era de necesidad. Right? Can you see where it says have to? Don't have to? Can you see that? Can you see it? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, what are we going to do with have to and don't have to? Right? Le voy a quitar un momento. Right? With have to and don't have to, this is about things that are mandatory, things that are obligation. Right? So, have to, for example, listen, you have to put your complete name on Zoom. Right? That's an obligation. Very, like, real example. Right? Something that is mandatory. You have to be in class. Right? You have to be in class. Tienen que estar en clase. Si nadie los está llamando, ¿por qué no ha venido Walter? ¿Por qué no ha venido Marlon? Right? You have to be in class. Right? Things that are, when you say don't have to, those are things that are not an obligation. They are not mandatory. For example, if I tell you, oh, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to print your book. You don't have to print the book. You can use it digitally, right? No tienen que imprimir el libro. That is optional, right? 
If you want to, you do it. If you have money, you do it. If you don't have money, you don't do it. If you are green, like, ah, no, quiero salvar los arbolitos, no lo hago, right? Es porque no es obligación, right? So you don't have to print the book. It's optional, right? Another thing that is an option that is not mandatory, right? You can say, uh, for example, you don't have to, you don't have to eat in the class, right? If we say, you don't have to eat in the class. Am I saying an obligation, something that is mandatory, like a rule? Si yo le digo, you don't have to eat in the class. Está en negativo, pero me expresa una obligación. You don't have to eat in the class. It is an obligation. Very good. Excellent. It is an obligation. It is a rule. Right? Or for example, every day when you go out, right, you have to wear a mask. Right? Okay. You have to wear a mask. You have to wash your hands, right? You don't have to have the vaccine. You don't have to, right? No tienen por qué ponerse la vacuna, right? You don't have to have the vaccine. It's not mandatory, right? If you want to, you go. If you don't want to, you don't go, right? So when we use have to and don't have to, it's for things that are an obligation or mandatory. Es para hablar de cosas que son obligaciones o que son reglas, que son mandatorias, right? Para eso vamos a utilizar have to or don't have to. Okay, is that clear? Okay, what part didn't you understand? ¿Qué parte no entendió? No, no, o sea, ¿Mm? más o menos necesito ver más, más, más. Ejemplos. Ejemplos, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, yeah. We're going to see examples right now. Uf. Vamos a ver y vamos a hacer ejemplos. No se preocupe. Mira acá. Right. We have here, right. Have to and don't have to. Have to. Something you need to do following a rule. Ok. You have to clean your room every day. If you want to, use the computer. Right? My sister has to eat some chocolate before going to bed. Where do we have to buy the tickets for the concert? Right? We can use it in sentences with you, he, we, they, and we can also use it in questions. No solo con where, right? Con cualquier otro tipo de preguntas. Why do you have to wear a mask? Oh, because there is a pandemic outside, right? So I have to wear a mask. Now, we can use also don't have to. I don't have to go to school today. It's Friday. I don't have to teach English on Saturdays, right? You don't have to wear a long dress to the party. He doesn't have to buy me a present. It is not necessary. It's not an obligation. Right? It's not an how, obligation. How often? How often? What do you mean how, how often? Do you... Uh, how often do you have to... Uh, play in the living room or in the bedroom or oh, in the home? I don't have to play in the, in the living room but I, I work in the living room. Very good question. Write it down, write it down. Very good. How often do you have to play in the living room? For example, if you play video games, how often do you have to play video games? Right, to be more specific, very good example, very good. Now we continue. We have here, right? It says use of have to. Right, uh, Marlon, can you please read this first part? We use have to. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, we used have to to talk about rules and things that other people make us do. Mm -hmm. Very good. And listen to this. It's not something that you want to do. Right? It's a rule. Right? Es una regla. Es algo mandatorio. Es una obligación. Right? Usualmente las reglas las pone alguien más. Right? So it's a rule. Now, can you please read the first example, Marilyn? Marilyn. Perdón, el micrófono. Un ejemplo, me pide. No, read the example, please. Lea el ejemplo. Read okay, the perdón, example. Perdón, perdón. It's okay, don't worry. You have to, you have to try trees, K, they are so good. Very good. You have to try these cakes. They are so good. Very good. Thank you. Santos, can you please go ahead and read the second example? Kayla has to press very hard on the doorbell. Permítame. Voy a apagar todos los micrófonos un momento. Veo como hay cuatro abiertos. Ok, Santos, abra su micrófono. Ok, gracias. Yes. Can you please read the example? Sheila, Sheila has to press very hard on the doorbell. On the doorbell. Right? Very good. On the doorbell, right. like cling, cling. So she has to press. Very good. William, read number three. Okay. I have to cook dinner every night. Very good. I have to prepare lunch every day, most of the time, right? The last one, Carla. You have to do a lot of homework every week. Every week, very good. So you have to complete five, five activities every week, right? There is something mandatory, right? You have to complete five activities every week. Now we continue. In the negative form, right? It says the negative of have to, right? Is form using do not, does not, did not in past, este de pasado, right? Did not, or don't, doesn't, or didn't, right? So let's remember, we can also use have to in past. También podemos utilizar have to en pasado. ¿Lo vamos a utilizar ahorita? No. No. Right, only in present, right? Si vemos uno en pasado, utilizamos did not or didn't, right? Let's read the next examples here, right? I would like, Cristina, please read the first one. We don't have to pay for the food. We don't have to pay for the food. Good. Walter, next. Thank you. The students. The students don't have to do homework on Friday. Very well. Thank you so much. Continue. Silvia, third grade. Hasta comiendo. No se preocupe. Walberto, third grade. Third grade. Third grade doesn't have to take class on December 19. December 19th. Okay, very good. Me recuerdan que el viernes vamos con días de la semana, meses y los números de nuevo. Me recuerda, me recuerda. Okay, hey, Walberto, the last one. We don't have to do exercise of, of math class. We don't have to do exercises of math classes. Very good. So these are other examples for things that you don't have to do. They are not an obligation, right? They are not, not an obligation. Now let's continue, right? We have this exercise. This is the legs practice. Right. This is 
I don't have to leave now. That is a, a sentence. Then the question, do I have to leave now? In simple present, right? Now let's make, let's make here another thing in negative. Let's make sentences in negative. For example, I will start. I don't have to answer WhatsApp on Sundays. This is mine, right? I don't have to answer WhatsApp on Sundays, right? This is my sentence in negative. Now I'm gonna make it a question. Do I have to answer WhatsApp on Sundays? Do I have to answer WhatsApp on Sundays? Right, that is my question. Can I make this with third person singular? Let's see here, negatives. Give me a subject. Otro que no sea I. She. She. She doesn't have to wake up early on weekends. Right. She, we can put here, we're gonna put here Nancy. Uh, personalization. Nancy doesn't have to wake up early on weekends. Now we made a question. In this one, I use do. What is the auxiliary that I need to use for Nancy? That. Does. 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 Very good. Does. Does she. she? Does she have to wake up early on weekends? Right. And then we have our questions. Now I make two examples right now. Write other three examples. Okay, yeah, the O. Give me a moment. Okay, now I want you to please write three more examples, right? That you're going to write right now. You have three. Te he dado tres ejemplos. Escriban ustedes otros tres, right? You can choose any subject that you like. Right, anything that you want to talk about, but use don't have to and then make a question. Okay, let's start. Only three examples.
Tell me if you have questions. Did you finish? Very good. What about the others? <laughs> Marlon, Walberto, Walter, Cristina. Yes. Yes, you finished? Very good. William, Victor, Elizabeth. Very good. Finish. Perfect. Let's start reading some of the examples, okay? Let's give some of the examples. Let's start with Marlon. Then Matias, then Silvia, then Alfredo. Okay, let's read the examples. Lean sus okay. ejemplos. Lea uno de sus ejemplos. Pregunta. Eh, oración y pregunta. Ok. Uh, does she have to pay your bills? Uh, she doesn't have to pay your bills. Ok. She doesn't have to pay your bills. Does she have to pay your bills? Very well. Thank you so much. That's perfect sentence. Now let's go here, Matías. Uh, they don't have to play soccer on Saturday? Do they have to play soccer on Saturday? Very good, excellent job, thank you so much. Sylvia? Romulo doesn't have to go to the mechanic on Monday. Does Romulo have to go to the mechanic on Monday? Very good, that's a perfect example, thank you. We're doing good, Alfredo? Messi doesn't have to re renovate the contract with Barcelona. Does Messi have to renovate the contract with Barcelona? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. That's a good example too. Easy, right? These exercises are very easy. Now, Victor says, does Sandra have to send reports on Monday at 4 p.m.? Okay, and what is the sentence? 
¿Cuál es la forma negativa? Eh, escribiéndola estoy o se la leo. Léala, vamos a ver. Sandra doesn't send reports on Monday at 4 p.m. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Victor. Who has another example? Thank you. Another one? Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Carlos? I don't have to work on Sunday. Okay. Question? Do I have to work on Sunday? Do I have to work on Sunday? No, I don't have to work on Sundays. Very good. Thank you. Mightily? He doesn't have to be zone. What is the meaning of son, uh, uh, Domingo? ¿A qué nos referimos con son? Marily, le falta el have to en la pregunta. He doesn't have to play in class. En zona de lugares. Perdón, tenía que apagar el micrófono. Uh -huh. Zona de lugares. Ajá, zona de lugares. Área, la área, en este lugar, digamos. No sé sí. Pero no entiendo en qué lugares. En su trabajo. Cuando, ajá, digamos que cuando alguien restringe una zona, no tiene que estar aquí. Cuando... Oh, ajá. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to be in the restricted area. Ajá. In the restricted area. Ah, ah ok. Restricted area. Very good. He doesn't have to be, he doesn't speak Spanish. Me está escribiendo, Maidali, solo oraciones en negativo. No me está utilizando have to. Están incorrectas. Debe utilizar have to. Or has to. Right? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Sometimes. Okay, now we have there, let's see. My wife doesn't have to take care of the baby. <laughs> okay, you lo deja tirar. What's the question to that, William? He doesn't have to eat eggs in the morning. Does he have to eat eggs in the morning? Very good. William, what's the, the, the question? <laughs> ah. She has a babysitter. Tiene para una baby. A babysitter. Now, if we have these examples, right? Let's continue here. Does he have to be in the restricted area? Very good. Very good. In the restricted area. He doesn't have to play. Does he have to play in class? Very good, my delete. Now. Let's continue. We have this exercise that we won't be able to do, of course, but we will be able right? Because we only have six minutes. So tomorrow we're gonna practice, tomorrow, sí, mañana, sí. Tomorrow we're gonna practice with this exercise, right? In which we're going to use have to, has to, don't have to, doesn't have to, right? And we have here 12, Different sentences. For example, look at number one. It says, Mary can't go to the cinema. Can't is no puede. Mary can't go to the cinema. She look after her sister tonight. What do you think is the answer? Tengo cuatro posibilidades acá. Has to. She? Has to. She has to look after her sister tonight. Look after? Cuidar, no como la esposa de William. No. She doesn't look after. <laughs> now this one, she has to look after the baby, right? What do you think is going to be number two? My parents can't go to Italy. They work this summer. They have to. They have to work this summer. Very good. They have to work this summer. Okay, now I want you to please 
take a look at this exercise, take a screenshot, then una captura de pantalla. Perfect, William. Does she have to take care of the baby? We don't have to work tonight. Thank you, Stella, Joseph. Right? Very good. Do we have to work tonight? Okay, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow, right? We're going to continue with this exercise and some other exercises related to have to and don't have to and also need to, okay? Need to. Now, do you have any questions at this moment? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? No? no? Okay. Si tiene alguna pregunta, right? Anótenla y la hacemos mañana right, al inicio de la clase. Vamos, mañana nos toca hacer práctica de lo que hemos visto hoy de have to and need to. Y todavía tenemos que hacer el párrafo que no hemos terminado. Okay? Now, for today's class, antes que de pasar la asistencia, Ahora le corresponde quedarse al señor Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Right? Y ahora vamos a pasar la asistencia rapidito. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Alfredo Alexander Roda Rodríguez. Present. Carla Marisa Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Aventura. Ken Elizabeth Vanegas Lemos. Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. Marlon Alberto Cardón. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Maydeli Judith Díaz Rivera. Present. Nancy Elisa Rodríguez Escoto. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Present. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Present. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Emeki. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Walter Daniel González Pérez. William Present. Eduardo Pérez García. Present. Thank you so much. Now, so we're going to stop here. Vamos a, a parar acá. I will see you guys tomorrow. Eh, Marlon, ¿se va a quedar a los 10 minutos? Ya se la comió. Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. Then the other ones have a beautiful <laughs> night. Two minutes. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Hi, Marlon. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very good. Thank you for asking. Tell me, Marlon, what is the question that you have? Well, really, I think that with the topics that we are looking right now, I, I have no doubts. You don't have doubts about the topics? No, right now, I think it's not so complicated. It's not so complicated. OK. Any questions about the platform? Uh, no, uh, I no. think everything is okay. Everything the, is okay. Yes, with the previous season, we, mm -hmm. we learned the way we have to work. And right now, I'm trying to do to do it as best as I can. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much then, Marlo. So in any case, that you have any questions, right, at, uh, at any time in the class, please let me know, right? So okay. we can help you out, okay? okay Pronunciation, teacher. anything, so we can help you, okay? Thanks, teacher. I will take notes about that. Perfect. Thank you so much. Then I will send a message. Tal vez alguien tiene alguna pregunta. Luciano tiene pregunta, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Okay, perfect, Marlon. Then I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful okay, night teacher. and see you at eight, okay? Okay, teacher, good night. See you tomorrow. See you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.